Image out there and Jesse, you know, we're almost surprised that we haven't been hearing more reports of injuries with all of these because, you know, Sunday afternoon, so many people are home and we're seeing these trees just going straight through these houses in, in some of these hardest hit areas. Uh, we're thankful that the number is not quite as high as we, we thought it might be. Yeah, um, and I have to say that, that I want to thank everybody that was watching at home and that was on social media during our Facebook Live this mm -hmm. entire afternoon for sending pictures and video and all of your reports. We see them all and I want to thank you all very much for that. Uh, you know, a, a lot of people though, when something like this happens and you see this damage across North Texas, immediately you think this had to be a tornado. Yeah, you know, straight line winds will do it. Man. 70 mile per hour winds, especially when they're extended. In fact, I'm going to kind of break down what happened and why it was so severe. I want to start with a live look here. This is uh, the Dallas Love Field camera. This is a live look of that hangar that was damaged. You can see the damage there on top of that southwest building. The peak wind gust at Love Field was 71 miles per hour. What we expect to be so problematic with why we see so much damage across the Dallas Fort Worth area, namely in Dallas itself, is I want to show you just minute by minute what the wind gust did. At 1.30 this afternoon, we only had a six mile per hour wind. At 1.35, the wind was calm. And then all of a sudden, within just a few minutes, the winds jumped to 63 miles per hour. Then by 145, we had a 71 mile per hour wind gust. And then at 155, 63. So we had a prolonged period, more than 15 minutes of severe wind gust, and it happened in just a couple of minutes. So we went from calm winds to 63 mile per hour winds in less than five minutes. The good news right now, North Texas is not included in a severe thunderstorm watch. The severe threat has come to an end for the Dallas Fort Worth area and all of North Texas. As we take a look at radar, we're in the clear right now. We have a lot of sinking air behind these thunderstorms. There's the complex of storms right now south of Waco. Watch the evolution of this. I'm taking you back 24 hours. This is the complex of storms that was in eastern Colorado, and it shot itself all the way south into North Texas and now into central Texas. Again, this is a 24 hour loop of this cluster of thunderstorms that brought us those damaging wind gusts. So it worked on its own environment, its own momentum, dragged all the way through Kansas, all the way through Oklahoma this morning and made it into North Texas, bringing us those damaging winds. A few clouds tonight. A cold front is on the way for the rest of this evening. We'll talk about the big cool down. That's all coming up. All right, Jesse, thank you. This really can be a lifesaver when we experience weather like we saw today. Please download our WFAA app if you haven't done it already. You have the radars there, you have alerts there, you can watch live coverage there when things get really bad like they did this afternoon. Just look for it in your app store. It is, of course, free of charge.